In this video, we are going to learn about the basics of VO2. What exactly is VO2? V stands for volume per unit time and O2 is for oxygen. So VO2 is volume of oxygen consumed per unit time. When we eat food, it needs to be converted for the body to utilize it. Oxygen is needed to convert this energy from food to ATP. So this volume of oxygen needed to convert the energy from food to ATP is called as VO2. Thus VO2 is indirectly the measure of the body's ability to generate ATP. And it is a gold standard for cardiorespiratory fitness. Now we'll see some terminologies. Now VO2 max and VO2 peak are two terminologies associated with VO2. Now VO2 max is the highest value which can be attained and it can be calculated with the help of prediction equations. Whereas VO2 peak is the actual attained value by the patient during the exercise test. Though these terminologies are interchangeably used, we need to understand the exact difference between them. VO2 can be expressed as absolute value and relative value. The difference between absolute and relative is between their units. The unit of relative VO2 is liter of oxygen per kg per minute. It can also be expressed as milliliter of O2 per kg per minute. The unit of absolute VO2 is liter O2 per minute or ml O2 per minute. Now we also need to understand the Fick equation. VO2 is equivalent to the product of the cardiac output and the difference between the arterial and the venous oxygen content. So this is the formula for calculating VO2. Even if we can measure VO2 with the help of Fick equation, it is very difficult to do it practically. So practically, VO2 is measured with the help of ventilatory gas analysis during the exercise tolerance test. During the exercise tolerance test, the difference between the amount of oxygen inhaled and the amount of oxygen exhaled is calculated. It is calculated with the help of the given formula. Volume of inspired air multiplied by the percent of oxygen in the inspired air minus the volume of inspired air multiplied by the percent of oxygen in the inspired air. Now we also need to understand what exactly is MET. MET is the short form for metabolic equivalent. It is similar to VO2 but it is expressed in a different form. MET has got no unit since it is a ratio of MLO2 per kg per minute in activity relative to that at rest. That is, it is the MLO2 per kg per minute in activity divided by MLO2 per kg per minute at rest. Thus, it is measured relative to the oxygen consumption at rest. At rest, our MET level is considered to be equal to 1. So 1 MET is exactly equivalent to 3.5 mlO2 per kg per minute. It means that when you are at rest, you use 3.5 ml of oxygen per kg body weight per minute. Therefore 2 MET is equal to twice the oxygen consumption at rest. That is 3.5 into 2 is equivalent to 7 mlO2 per kg per minute. Once you know the value of MET, you can easily convert it to relative VO2. Now we'll see how to convert MET to relative VO2. 1 MET is equivalent to 3.5 relative VO2 as seen in the previous slide. Now this is not to be confused with 3.5 multiplied by relative VO2. It means that 1 MET is equal to 3.5 mlO2 per kg per minute since it is a unit of relative VO2. So if you want to convert MET value which you get in exercise tolerance test with the Bruce protocol 
to relative VO2, just multiply it by 3.5. The following is an example of how we should convert MET to relative VO2. Let's say a person has completed stage 3 in Bruce protocol and has stopped the test because he or she has reached 85% of max HR. So his maximum MET level attained is equal to 10. So his relative VO2 will be 3.5 multiplied by 10 that is 35 ml O2 per kg per minute. The conversion of relative VO2 to MAT can be easily done by dividing the relative VO2 by 3.5. Now we'll see how to convert the relative VO2 to absolute VO2. Now absolute VO2 is equal to relative VO2 multiplied by the body weight of the person. We'll continue with the previous example. The relative VO2 of the person was 35 ml O2 per kg per minute. And let's assume the body weight of the person is equal to 70 kg. So the absolute VO2 max for the person is equal to 35 multiplied by 70 which is equal to 2450 ml O2 per minute. Again, if you want to convert 2450 ml O2 per minute to liter O2 per minute, just divide it by 1000. So the absolute VO2 of the person is 2.45 liter O2 per minute. Now you may wonder why is this all necessary? The thing is, if you get the absolute VO2, you can calculate the kilocalorie expenditure per minute needed when the patient is exercising. So, the kilocalorie expenditure per minute, that is kcal per minute, is equal to 4.9 multiplied by the absolute VO2 in liter per minute. 4.9 is the conversion factor but make sure while doing this, you have to enter the value of absolute VO2 in liter per minute. So once you know MET value, you can easily calculate all the values of relative and absolute VO2 and the kcal per minute. I hope we are clear with the concept of VO2 and MET. I thank you for your valuable time.